Hi Tamara here with my autumn book haul. These are all the books that I've bought since the London book haul that I filmed back in June. And to be honest, most of these I've bought during the last month or so. First I have Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older. You might remember this from my end of the year TBR Top 5 Wednesday video. This is a young adult novel about Sierra Santiago who lives in New York and discovers these people who can use magic called Shadow Shapers and they can infuse ancestral spirits into paintings, music and stories, but someone is killing off the shadow shapers. I'm really excited to read this one. It actually came out last year, I think, but I was waiting for the paperback. Next I have The Heroine Complex by Sarah Kuhn, another young adult novel. This is about a superhero's assistant. It takes place in San Francisco and both of the main characters are Asian American. And this sounds like so much fun. It's about Evie Tanaka, who is, like I said, a superhero's assistant, but she has a secret, which is that she also has powers. I think I'm going to read these two quite soon. They are very short and look like they're a lot of fun. And I just now realized that this is quite strangely a very young adult heavy book haul, but once in a while. A while ago I read All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Sevin, which is the first in a series. It's set in the future and it has a crime family who deals with chocolate because chocolate is banned in the future. And I remember I quite enjoyed this and the library didn't have the rest of the series. So I'm sort of been waiting for there to be a sale or something so I can get, so I can get the rest of the series. And just recently the third book in The Age of Love and Chocolate was for sale at Book Depository, so I picked it up, I think it was under five euros or something, and I also at the same time picked up the second book because it is my blood. So now I have the whole series and I can read it and I think I will donate it to the library or something after I'm done. And then I have two graphic novels which I've actually shown you in a mini haul in a Friday Reads or something, but in case you missed that I have Gem Volume 2 and Gem Volume 3 by Kelly Thompson and Sophie Campbell. Uh, this is a story about a band called Jim and it's based on an 80s cartoon and it's so much fun. Sophie Campos art is stunning and the colors by M. Victoria Robado really work together with with Campos art. It's just so colorful, so amazing. The second volume actually has guest artists but the third volume has Sophie Campos art again. I really recommend Jim if you want something fun and light and colorful. There are also lesbian characters and the girls have a lot of different body, body types which I think is awesome and Sophie Campbell really excels in that. So those were all the physical books. I have also bought a few ebooks. My most recent purchase was Luck in the Shadows by Lynn Flew Welling, which is the first book in the Night Runner high fantasy series. A lot of people really love it and I have never read anything from Lynn Flew Welling, so I picked that one up. It was really cheap for the Kindle. And also I picked up The Witches of Lichford by Paul Cornell, which is a tour that come novella. I actually don't know anything about it except that it has witches, but I really trust the quality of Tor.com. I have also bought The Obelisk Gate, the second in the Broken Earth series by N.K. Jemisin, but I haven't read it yet and I don't know why. I guess I have just prioritized library books, books or something. I really thought I would have read it by now. I really need to get on that because I love the first book. So it's future Maya here and I have a couple of things that I want to add to my haul. The first one is the fourth volume of The Wicked and the Divine called Rising Action and it's by Karen Gillan and Jane McKelvey of course and I'm really excited for this. When I read the third volume I reread the first two volumes as well and I was so much more into them than I was the first time I read them so I really want to know what happens next. This series of course is about gods who are reincarnated into the bodies of young mortals and they are pop stars. Then I went to visit a friend because I wanted to give her a book that I wanted to get rid of and it was quite a big book so I was happy to get rid of it and get more space. But she was also getting rid of some of her books so of course I had to look through them and I found The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare and other people like Sarah Rhys Brennan and Maureen Johnson. And this book is huge. It is just as big as the books that I was getting rid of. I really like Magnus Bane. I read the first three Mortal Instruments books and the first Infernal Devices book almost just because of this character. I do plan to finish the Infernal Devices at some point but then give this series that universe a rest but I couldn't resist this book which is just a collection of short stories about the warlock Magnus Bane. So I didn't get any more space. 
I have also managed to buy a couple of new ebooks since I filmed the haul. The first is a pre-order that came in, Romancing the Inventor by Gail Carriga. This is a romance novella of hers that she self-published, set in the Parasol Protectorate universe. And this is about a parlor maid who falls in love with a certain lady inventor, who is of course jean Vier Lafou, one of my favorite characters from the Parasol Protectorate books. But I have a lot of favorite characters. Anyway, so glad it finally came in, because I actually was under the impression that it was released the 1st of October, and I was so sad that it was in November, but now it's here. Then I picked up a couple of ebooks that were on sale. The first one was a Kindle Daily Deal, and that was Central Station by La Vie Tidhar. And this is a science fiction story about the city of Tel Aviv at the foot of a large space station called Central Station. And it says that cultures collide in real life and virtual reality. The city is literally a weed, its growth left unchecked. Life is cheap and data is cheaper. And it has cyborgs and aliens and data vampires, so bring it on. And then I bought Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova, which is a young adult book about witches. It says it is a seamless blend of fancy and Latinx culture. So I was really interested in it, and my library didn't have it, at least not yet. So when it was on sale for like $2, I of course picked it up. So this is the final pile of books, and it's quite heavy. As you can see, all the physical books are either young adult books or then comic trades. So something a bit different for a change. Have you read anything by these authors or any of these books? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you later. I have to put this down now.